felt really good. Am I right? Yeah. That's that's really good. So, to whom you miss the most? Your teachers or your friends? My best friend. My best friend. Your best friend. That's that's really good. Okay, Mahi. Have you done the homework? Yeah. Okay, can you tell me what's the homework? The homework was to write a story about two sisters and how their relationship grows. Okay. Now, can you just copy paste it here so that I can read it? <laughs> there you go. Okay. Don't you think it's a very small story? It's like not even a one page. Okay. Yeah. And you know the worst part is it doesn't have a title, no name. True. Okay. Two step sisters were fighting and hated each other. One day, the older sister decided to talk to her sister and ask why don't really talk to why they don't really talk or fit well together. The sister replied, I don't feel very safe with you. The older sister tried to explain that she was a good person and slowly the young sister started to believe, behave, believe her. Then they become best friend and slowly become really happy sisters. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. It's making sense. But Mahi, it could have been a little longer. You know, when we are talking about story, Mahi, it must show feeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. The major difference between the story and the paragraph writing is the feelings. If it doesn't show express feeling, then there is no use of story. Okay. If, let's suppose, I'm just giving you an example. If its story is about, you know, a haunted house, you have to feel scared. And if the story is about, uh, about you know, comedy, you have to laugh. And if story is about writing, you know, some weeping and crying or grief, you have to feel that feeling too. So this is something we have to feel, okay? Uh, is it possible for you to rewrite it? Okay. Okay. Now you got enough of time. Just rewrite it, put lots of emotion so that one should feel what the Mahi wants to say, okay? change the whole story into something totally different okay i don't mind if you are fine with it i don't mind does it still have to be the theme of the sisters okay uh if you don't feel comfortable you just do it that way because I want to do it so, like, it's a scary story, but then it turns into a happy ending. Okay, no worries, you know, it's not, that's completely up to you.
I'm sorry. I forgot where I left. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll take you back. Here. Thank you. I think I go to the same school. Okay. Thank you. Oh. 
That's it? And, uh, okay. I'm trying to think of what else to write. Okay, no worries. So, could I not be like on that day? Um, because I said that, um, before Sarah and I used to be friend, best friends, but now, um, I'm Marine and we are your best friends. So, then, um, can I make the main the plot that, um, Sarah tries to kill Amberine because she's jealous that Molly's her best friend now. Okay, fine. You can do whatever you want. That's your story, okay? Add lots of emotion, lots of drama. I don't mind. Okay. So this would probably be my last sentence. Okay. But how Sarah felt that she's jealous? What made them feel this? What made her feel this? You know, wait, 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 wait. So they are best friends. Okay. But soon, Ambreen and Mahi become bestest friend. They share each other. They do things together. Even they like the same stuff. That's why Sarah started to feel jealous. Okay. Are you getting me? Yeah. So that you should tell why, how you felt that, how they start feeling jealous. Sorry? Oh, I'm just writing it down. Okay. Okay, now I can redo a textbook. Um, why is this one? Okay. Um, my textbooks went away and now it won't come back. I can't write another textbook. Okay, no worries. Just select another uh, text box and you can write. Okay, leave this I'm line. I'm trying to. Leave this line. Start from with the new one. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm trying to um, redo it, but it's not working. What? How? Okay, let me just give it a try. Yeah, I'm able to do it, Mahi. Look. I um, don't know why mine's not working. Just give a try, or maybe otherwise you have to re log in. If you are not able to use your whiteboard, it means there are some internet issues. Just leave the ch uh, class and come back again. Um, hold on. Sorry? Give me, um, okay, give me one second. No. I'm gonna, um... You can try here. What if it will work here? <coughs> I'm gonna try writing it and see if this works. Yeah, no, okay, no, no, no. I can write it. If you try to write, it will take a lot of time. Just try to select a text box and it will become easier. Uh, it's not working. I might have to re log in. Please do it, Mahi. Okay. Thank you. You are currently the only person in this conference. Here we go, rejoin. Okay, now just give a try. Wait, let me take you back. Now, give a Thank try, you. please. Yep, now it's working. Sorry? Now it's working. Thank okay. you. Okay, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Let me think. Yeah, 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 I think. Sorry? My text box went again. Sorry? My text box went again. 
now you should start from the next line do not start from the middle of the line otherwise it won't come in the sequence okay yeah okay But that night, Sarah took him searching him. I have no other ideas. That's all I can think of right now. Okay, you can take a little time to think, please. What I said that is at the end, I like make it like Amberine dies. So, should I just write that? Okay. And she was okay. And she killed Umbreen. Or you will be using a word called murdered, okay? Okay. Sarah, then. Not an Okay, now she killed Umbreen. What happened now? Um, don't think she got arrested. Maybe she was feeling guilty. Now the Mai started hating her more. You know the feelings should be should come here now. All the feelings. Uh huh. Uh huh. So.
this is good you know bhai if you will practice now mm-hmm. you will start knowing what i was talking about okay whenever you feel like uh, whenever you, whenever you are reading a story okay any story book that you are reading maybe school or maybe your mother has purchased for you mm-hmm. try to see what are the you know emotions there what are the feelings like they have actually written in it okay mm-hmm. so that it will help you to realize what are the feelings okay my soon we will be working on feelings okay maybe in coming lecture or maybe after that we will talk about feelings okay and uh, okay. <coughs> we will definitely share our feelings like what are the things okay should we do this it's a comprehension yeah. okay mm-hmm. okay can you just read the caption the title oh. the title is in a disaster uh-huh what you can assume by reading this what you can feel what it is all about that something happens at like night yeah. or night, like something in a time when they are having their night time meal their dinner okay now mm-hmm. let's see what happened you know this is why the names are important even before reading it you should know what is going on yeah so that's why name of a story or name of paragraph is more important <coughs> mm-hmm. please read it loudly are you having tough too mm, no not that much okay if you are having cough then you can read it slowly okay in your mind and then when you reach here just tell me so that i can scroll down okay so that if you will yeah, talk a lot it. then you will have okay fine i don't mind i read it out loud it's fine okay. Ugh, meatloaf again i hate meatloaf matt yell i'm not eating this matt's mom and dad looked at each other that's up This had been happening at least once a week all summer long. You know what, Matt? We're going to let you take over dinner time from now on. You can pick the meals and cook them as long as they're healthy, Mum said. Good. We're going to get to eat great food every night, Matt answered. The next day, Dad sat down with Matt to make the meal plan so he could go grocery. grocery shopping. Matt had already been thinking about his favorite dinner. We're going to have chicken tonight and spaghetti tomorrow and macaroni and cheese the next day. Whoa, hold on now, Dad said. What else are we going to have with the chicken? We need at least one vegetable with each meal and usually we have another to go with it. Another side to go with it. Oh yeah. Um we could have corn with the chicken mats says. Okay. So Bea does not like corn said dad. Well, it's my choice. So I'm going to make corn match replied. Okay. Okay. But she might complain I dinner tonight. Are you ready for that dad asked. Yeah, whatever, Matt answered. Matt and his Matt and his dad spent the next hour figuring out the whole week's meals and side dishes. It was a lot more work than Matt expected. Almost every time he picked something out, his dad would tell him that someone in the family wouldn't like it. It was very frustrating. This is impossible, Matt exasperated. Yes, it's hard. Your mother and I try very hard to make everyone happy, but everyone has different tastes, and sometimes we just can't please everyone. Fine. We will just have to go with the plan this week. Next week, I'll try to make everyone happy," said replied Matt. 
When his dad finished grocery shopping, it was time for Matt to make his first meal. His parents were both in the kitchen to help him, since he didn't know how to cook yet. They looked up the recipes for chicken, rice and broccoli with cheese. Wow, that's a lot to do, Matt thought, as he looked at the directions for everything. He was usually used to... He was usually playing video games or outside while his parents made dinner. It took almost an hour to make dinner. There were so many steps. Matt was tired and extra hungry when dinner was finished. He was, all, no, no. he was also proud of himself. He made dinner and he knew he would like it tonight. Ew, this tastes, ew, this tastes, this rice tastes funny, Sophia said. Matt took a bite. It did taste a little funny, but he'd worked so hard. He felt like he might cry. It's okay, Matt. Cooking is hard. It takes a long time to figure it out. Sophia, be nice and take three no thank you bites. Matt really worked hard on this dinner. The next day, Matt didn't want to cook dinner. It's hard, he explained to Mom. It's hard, but your father and I do it anyway. How are we going to eat otherwise, said Mom. We could just go out to eat every night. Then everyone could get what they want to cook. One. No one could cook or no one has to cook all clean, Matt answered. I guess we need work on budgeting into this, Mum quietly said. We spent about one that one hundred and ninety dollars on groceries this week. That was for seven nights of dinner. So if we divide that, it comes to about twenty seven dollars each night. Does that make sense? Yes, replied Matt. Last time we went to dinner, went out to dinner, began Mum. We spent about $75. How does that compare to the groceries? That's a lot more than $27. It is, and that adds up. It would be really nice to go out every night. But that means you... you you, that would mean you couldn't play soccer and Sophia couldn't do gymnastics. You'd probably have to move into a smaller house and Dad and I would have to share a car. Do you think that's worth it? Mum asked. Oh, wow. I'd get started with dinner, said Matt. Again, he was tired and hungry when dinner was finally ready. I don't like corn, cried Sophia. Matt realised. Matt then realised then how his parents must feel every time he complained about dinner. It took all of Matt's willpower not to yell at his little sister. He had worked so hard on dinner. And it was impossible to make sure everyone liked every part of the meal. Every meal. I'm so I'm sorry, Sophia. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry and Dad. I shouldn't have yelled at you. I I'm out dinner all the time. I didn't know how hard it was to pick out food that everyone everyone likes. And how hard it was to cook all of the food. I don't want to take over dinner anymore. I won't complain, Mark remarked. Thank you, Matt, Mum and Dad said. Dad com continued. We'll take back dinner responsibilities. You'll have to do it enough when you're grown up. Matt felt a lot better. He happily finished his dinner and never complained about a meal his parents made again. Okay.
So by now, what my learned? Um, that you should never complain about making dinner because you don't know about what your food is because you don't know how um how much your parents will get upset and how hard it is to make it. Okay. So my <laughs> what, what, is the, what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is to not complain about the food your parents make. Okay, and one more thing, Mahi. Do you think the name of the story is actually according to the story? No. Okay, what could what could it be? It could be maybe um disaster. No, cooking disaster or something, or how hard cooking is actually because. Mm -hmm. The title of it's, the story is easy to complain but hard to work. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now look. Why I showed you why I made you read this? Just to make you understand, okay? That mm -hmm. how it works. You must have seen how much you know emotion they have said. At times they said he was so excited, at times he he was emotional, at times he was drained out like he was tired. At times he was <coughs> regretting, at times he was, you know, upset, depressed. So the story yeah. got lots of feeling, isn't it? Yeah, a lot. This is what the story is about. As if like, you don't have to complete the story in t two, three sentences. You have to like, make it, you know, full of emotions. Okay, Mahi? Okay. Yeah, good. Can you just... Answer these questions. What? Okay, sure. I'll answer the questions. And... Okay. How would you describe him at the beginning of the passage? How would you describe him? What would you describe him? Um... Would you describe him? So, um, I wouldn't describe Matt as how he was at the beginning. So, if I write, how do I describe Matt? Would that be at the beginning or at the end? Okay. The uh, the the best thing will be what according to me the best thing will be start with the beginning. In the beginning, he was like this, and by the end of the story, he turned into this. Okay. Okay. So at the beginning, he was very ungrateful and and very picky on what he gets. Okay, and wasn't he wasn't he excited about like going for like uh, for actually uh, cooking? He was so excited to cook, right? Yeah.
supports the end in more relaxed person. Can you tell the story in your own words? Can you do the second question after, please? Yeah. Wait. And also very excited. But towards the end, end of the story, okay? End of the story, he turned, spelling is wrong, into a more relaxed and grateful person. Okay? Just fix this thing. Um, I can't change anymore. Or else the whole thing will go away. Okay, no. Just right from here towards the end of the story like write it here take select another box and write it here Okay, now we are moving to the next one. Okay, should I take you back if you want to read this question? Um, yes, please. Okay, fine. I think that was on page number two. Uh, there to find out. No, it's all on page number two. Exhilarated. I can't see it anymore. Can you see it? I can't. Here. They have written in bold. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's <coughs> just. Yeah. You know what? What is the meaning of exasperated? Um, and no. he was ex he wait, just... wait, 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 wait. If you do not know, fine. You know, there are so many words in English, even I do not know. There are around 16,000 words. What is the best way, Mahi? Just read this whole thing. Uh, and you will, figure it, you will figure out what is the, you know, feeling. What is the condition? What is the situation he is feeling? Okay? What time? I means that he said like he was tired and he just let out a big sigh yeah he was tired fine irritated tired frustrated all the words fit there okay and you mm -hmm. you correct you guessed it correctly awesome you know this is how we work uh, mahi you know you will definitely come across so many words that you really don't know, know the meaning so how are you going to do that just read it again and you will understand the feeling. What word will fit mm -hmm. in this situation? Are you getting me? Yeah. Okay, good. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, cool.
Okay. Okay. Tiredness, fine. How do you know about it? Um. When I read the text, mm -hmm. it said like um. You can go with the light. You can write in that way. It become clear when I read the story. Okay, because it was telling his situation that he was feeling tired. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do it. Write it in that way. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, now here we go. Question number four. Why do you think Matt's parents decided to let Matt be in charge of the dinner for a while? Did they expect um, this reaction from him? Please could I say it to you? Because there's not that much time left and it'll take me really long to write. Okay, fine. You can just tell me. Um, so, I think that... Um, Matt, the re the Matt's parents, the reason why they um the reason why they um thingy, they let him be in charge is because they wanted to they wanted to um them to know how like it feels to get um for someone to say that I don't like your food. Mm -hmm. And how how upset they feel from inside. Uh -huh. So so mm -hmm. actually, you know what I felt is as he was so picky, right? And he was so you know choosing everything and something like that. So what his parents want them? Is just to realize that it's not yeah, that, easy. Okay. Also, his parents they got tired of him um, saying that oh I don't want this I don't want that. Mm -hmm. So then they that oh I give up try making him see how he feels if someone says that to you and let him take the responsibility because he he doesn't like us doing it. Mm -hmm. that's 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 really good okay create a week's worth of healthy meals for your family okay you know how, how it goes okay let me just give you a little thing monday what you will have mm -hmm. in breakfast dinner sorry lunch and dinner just right then tuesday all three meals but they has to be healthy um, I according to the liking of your family, okay? Do not add anything that your brother doesn't like, and do not add anything that your father didn't like, okay? You must be knowing about it, 
like what's your father's favorite food what he hates the most so you have to make a plan accordingly but <coughs> my what i think in our family um sorry in our family the thing is that we don't eat eggo meat so then there's just one thing that we eat every day okay okay no worries you know it's not necessary that if you are not eating egg or meat there should be more you know choices maybe at times you feel like you have to eat curry kofta kar oh uh, besan ki kari there are dal so many um, lentils so many different are you dishes. speaking cuz i can't hear you okay it keeps crying uh, i'm sorry now mahi uh, so if you are talking about vegetables there are so many types of vegetables at times you maybe you are eating only potatoes at times you are eating mixed vegetable at times you are eating different different things <coughs> so you have to make <coughs> a menu accordingly maybe you can write the same menu that your mom is following even i don't mind that oh um, and really quickly please can you give me a hand mark can i need to write it down otherwise i might forget okay fine you can take these two question as a homework write this take this question where you have to make a whole week plan and there should be another one <coughs> i'm sorry the next is to rewrite the story here retell the story in your own words okay okay mai yeah so what's your homework sorry I'm going to just answer question 2 and 5. Fine, fine. Can you oh, what do you want to ask? Um the thing is that I can't really hear you anymore. It's just cutting at the end of it. Okay. Uh it's like the whole lecture you didn't hear or in the end you are not able to hear me. It's just the end the last 2 oh, seconds. Okay, I'm sorry. One minute. maybe there should be some internet issue maybe from your side or maybe from my side because of that it is happening okay i think it's from my side uh we cannot uh, assume that okay it, it's too hot so i'm just writing it this is your homework maybe if mm-hmm. you are not getting me even then you will be able to understand this is your homework and yeah, i'm not that okay and this is another one this last one okay now i'm i'm giving you full authority to ask your mother about this one okay this question your mom will be able to help you but you have to make you know the proper menu that in breakfast what you guys are lo- what you guys love to eat in lunch time what's your favorite food uh mahi maybe there is something you don't like but your family loves so you have to work accordingly you have to sort a uh, sorted out the things and make a plan so that everybody um, in the house will be happy okay i have a question you know you said to do that right um the only problem is that like i need to know whether it's cuz i don't guess it is it like um i have to do um just um so for that question what do i do do i only do the dinner or all of it breakfast lunch dinner breakfast okay. lunch dinner wait i'm just giving you another hint okay see here you just made mm-hmm. one one big box okay and in that box you can make a text box okay it was just <laughs> just like a table now you will write here monday Okay fine I have written the wrong spelling you did monday now you have written breakfast I'm sorry what I'm doing okay you have written breakfast what what you will have in breakfast let's suppose uh you feel like paratha paratha mm-hmm. and achar maybe raita whatever you feel like and after that mm-hmm. for lunch I had sambar maybe whatever you feel like these are the d- indian dishes okay so i'm just writing them yeah. whatever you wanted to write you can write then for dinner mm-hmm. maybe you can have 
dal chawal okay this is how yeah. it will work are you getting me mai then for no. tuesday you will make another box or maybe mm -hmm. for tuesday you will write from here i don't mind mm -hmm. okay okay mai understood yeah understood okay good thank you hope to see you in the coming class have a good day bye bye see ya bye thank you